Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright here, and here is your daily stimulus check, your second stimulus check, and your executive order action, memorandums, moratoriums, and stimulus package update for Tuesday, October 20th, 2020, supposed deadline day. Today is the day. Find out why Chuck Schumer had some harsh words for Mitch McConnell. Yes, tough words for Mitch. How President Trump hopes getting another stimulus bill could push the price tag above $2 trillion and how today's stimulus package deadline could finally produce the phase four disaster relief bill we've all been waiting for after this. And also Nancy Pelosi's words on it after this that she just said. For the best news and information to master your money, dominate your money, and crush it, your business and life, stay tuned to this channel where we go through the articles and give you the good stuff. Also, if you put a comment in the comments, you like and subscribe, you enter to win $1,100. We pick a random comment. When we hit 110,000 subscribers, we just gave away 1000 bucks for a $100,000 uh, 100, subscriber, which is awesome. Hopefully, we can give away 100000 at some point. Also, grab your Weeble stock down below. You open up an account, fund it with $100. You get two stocks. One could be valued up to $1,600. Don't miss out on that. But first, Senator Minority, Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, he's the one that doesn't control the Senate, some bold words, bold statements regarding Senator Majority, which is the guy that controls the Senate leader, Mitch McConnell, and his plan to pass a $500 billion stimulus package for small businesses. Yeah, targeted, small. This is their what they keep trying to do, which is pass these targeted small bills and not collectively, which is what Nancy wants. According to The Hill, Schumer called McConnell skinny, $500 billion, can you imagine we're calling it skinny, right? $500 billion stimulus package, a stunt and a sham. Schumer also called the new proposal, quote, inadequate, just up and down the line, starting that he doesn't know any of the bill specifically because, quote, we just don't know what McConnell's plan to do. He has no idea what he wants to do. You know, and of course, he's going to poo-poo all over this because he wants to make sure we get the total bill, not just the skinny bill for businesses. With a vote planned in the Senate today on the stimulus package that would provide another round of funds for the small businesses that are hurting those loans for the PPP, we'll see if the two sides can finally get on the same page or if they continue to clash. They can both agree with this bill, but not pass it because there's so much pressure from the Democrats to have a huge bill that helps the states. Uh, so this is probably, I would say, probably not going to go through, even though it should, because they could do a bunch of bills just like this for each one. I don't care if they have five bills. It can have an unemployment bill, a PPP bill. I mean, who cares? As long as they take care of all of the different ones, it doesn't have to be comprehensive. But that's what the Democrats want. Meanwhile, President Trump continues to promote his huge stimulus package at his rallies and everything else explaining on fox news today that he's in favor of a disaster relief bill that exceeds even the democrats 2.2 trillion dollar proposal so why don't we just bypass the senate just dems send it to trump to sign we're good trump stated quote let me just explain let me just explain i want to do even bigger than the democrats not even republicans agree yeah but they will yeah they will I want to do it even bigger because this is money going to people who did not deserve what's happening to them. I couldn't agree with that more. They don't deserve what's happening. We don't deserve this. The president continued, quote, I would rather go big, th bigger than that number, but we'll see. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi doesn't want to do anything until after the election because she thinks it helps her. I actually think it helps us because everyone knows she's the one who's breaking up the deal. Do we really know that? You're just saying that. We don't know. Could have passed the HEROES Act a long time ago. Would have been done with that, right? $3.4 trillion. While a stimulus package worth over $2 trillion is not likely to fly the Republicans in the Senate, 
I'm glad to hear Trump pushing for a bigger disaster relief package instead of siding with Mitch on that skinny bill, which is just terrible. Steve Mnuchin, you know, is negotiating it. So, I mean, and Mitch has kind of handed them off to do the bill in the first place. Finally, today is the final day to reach an agreement on the phase four disaster relief bill, according to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, which she walked back some of that, which I'll cover. Uh, Pelosi and Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin are set to speak once again today, uh, following productive talks yesterday as sides, quote, continue to narrow their differences, right? Can you imagine a marriage where they narrowed their differences? That would be weird, right? You're negotiating your marriage. While it remains to be seen whether or not a new stimulus package can be crafted before the end of the day, economists are hopeful that a deal can re be reached before tonight. Now, Nancy, she backtracked a little bit about be this being a deadline and said today was basically a deadline for the terms, which means if it doesn't get passed today, we could still get something passed because she's not saying today is the D-Day. She's saying this is the term D-Day. She said that just 15, 20 minutes ago. Tom Lee, founder and head of research of Fundstat Global Advisors, explained, quote, over the next 24 hours, arguably the most important issue to watch for is a resolution on fiscal stimulus. He continued, while, ma while markets might see this as less significant, it is a big deal for those Americans who e have expired benefits. So we think it's very important that Washington to get a deal done. I agree with you, Lee. I agree with you, Lee. Definitely agree with you, Lee. And really hope that Pelosi and Mnuchin can reach an agreement, please, on a new stimulus package before the end of today, or now she's, quote, terms. So maybe we'll have a vote tomorrow, but hopefully they'll hammer out those terms and those shall, must, and, and may words that they're arguing about, which is saying that it gutted the program, which was the last argument Nancy was talking about when she had a meltdown over the weekend. That was your stimulus check and second stimulus check, your executive action and stimulus package update for Tuesday, October 20th, 2020, like 14 days till the election, right? And we're done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And for making it to the end, please leave a comment with your preference of taking a shower with a soap bar, soap wash, or other. Just curious. Like, what do you, what do you wash with? Also, you'll be entering to win the 1100 bucks, right? So wash soap or bar soap or something else. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Love you. Take care of yourself.